November is here. I'm going to break down the four biggest college football games this Saturday, week 10, November the 2nd, coming up for you. Free plays, my simulation predictions, all with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And look, November is here. Hope you had a great Halloween. A little uh, belated boo for those of you that I did not see before November 1st. Hey, if you need extra candy, always keep a mask handy, right? Or in case you're around some really pretty people and you don't blend in. But all seriousness, November is here. It's a great time of year to make money for both basketball and football. Hey, World Series is done. 2-0 sweep our two World Series best bets last week. But we are focusing on football, basketball moving forward. I'm going to break down the four biggest college football games this Saturday, November the 2nd. Two top 25 matchups, actually two top 20 matchups, but then I had to go a little bit deeper, just a bit outside to get you some bonus top 30 material. So I'm going to give you four games with opinions, database simulation here. Let's start with the biggest one on the board. Hey, look, it might be a light top 25 card this week, but this is a good one. Top four matchup, and you don't have to wait long. It might be at the bottom of the rotation on the betting board, but it's number one on the TV rotation at noon Eastern on Fox Saturday. Early kickoff, number four, Ohio State. At number three, Penn State. And as we head closer to the weekend, a lot of uncertainty still with the Penn State quarterback situation. Drew Alar, of course, injured. Got hurt early in the Wisconsin game last week. Did not return. Uh, Bo Prabula played well as the backup. Um, it's going to be a game-time decision. It looks like who will be the starting QB. So a lot of uncertainty. Now look, when I run the 10,000 game simulations through my database for every FBS game every week, This is one of the reasons I do 10,000 simulations. I can put all the different outcomes and metrics or parameters rather in there. And when we have a key injury like this, I do factor that in in numerous different simulations, both quarterbacks, based on the probability of them playing. I'd make it 50-50. And then the way they play. Lars is a very good passer. Verbeul is not as good of a passer, but he's actually a mobile threat. And while Ohio State does have some film on him when Wisconsin didn't last week, I think that uncertainty could work against Ohio State. And my simulation, when it's all said and done, has Penn State as a one-point favorite in this game. Has Penn State winning outright on average by one point. So I do think there's some value here. It's an overreaction in the betting market. Ohio State currently 3-3.5. Three to three and a half. So shop around. 3.5 is a very key number. About 8-9% to 9% of the time, favorite's going to win by exactly 3 in college football. If you're new to sports betting, you have to respect the key numbers, 3, 7, 10, 14, for example. But 3 is the king, the granddaddy of all. And at plus 3.5 or more, we get some nice line value with Penn State as a home dog. Now, Ohio State has won 7 straight in this uh, series, going all the way back to 2016, the last time Penn State won a game against OSU. And James Franklin has been a little bit of a bully, beating up on weaker teams, but struggling when stepping up in class at Penn State. I get all of that, but I think that's also factored into this line. And Penn State definitely qualifies as a good defensive dog in this game. Yes, it's a step up in class against a solid Ohio State offense, but Penn State is more than capable of holding them in check, especially as a home dog here. Really good defense. It's given up only about four and a half yards per play this season. And overall, Penn State on the year is allowing uh, just 14 points per game, 4.5, as I mentioned, yards per play. And they are capable offensively. Yes, the 10 yards per pass will be a little bit weaker without a LAR there, but they're still averaging almost 200 rushing yards per game, 5.2 yards per carry. And once again, if they have to go the backup route, Bo Prabula is actually a very mobile quarterback, and he's been there for a couple of seasons, so he knows the offense well. Take a look at Penn State at plus 3.5 or more as I simulate them by one here. I do think there's some value, but once again, a lot of uncertainty with that quarterback situation. You know, Not a game that usually makes my best bet card because of that uncertainty, but still a very high-profile game at noon Eastern on Fox. Now, there's one other true top 20 matchup this week, and that is an unusual game, 8 o'clock Eastern. It's on ACC Network, Pittsburgh SMU. When I was growing up, Pitt SMU wouldn't have been an ACC game, but that's the reality we live in now. And it's a unique situation because the higher-ranked team is the Pitt Panthers, number 18, at number 20 SMU. Yet the Mustangs are over a touchdown favorite in this game, and I agree with that line. My simulation has SMU winning this game by 7.5 points on average. As we check the Wager Talk live odds screen, we'll see that's pretty much been the line all week. It's been SMU minus 7.5. There are some rogue sevens minus $1.15 out there, so shop around. At 7 or less, if we do find that number, uh, by the time this game kicks off Saturday night, I would lean SMU. And there's a few reasons why. First of all, I favor them by 7.5, so there's not a lot of line value But 7 is a very key number once again. And I do think this line might drop to 7 because the public is on pit in this game. And we talked about this last week. And the public, I believe, missed four of those five uh, public dog top 25 games in the video last week. 
And the public normally is on uh, the highly ranked underdogs, especially when they're the higher ranked team catching a touchdown. So a little bit of a fade the public situation here with SMU, especially at minus seven or less. And this is a good SMU team, to say the least. Um, very explosive team, um, and I think they can get it done here offensively. This is a team that's averaging 39 points a game, 6.5 yards per play, and 9 yards per pass. Pitt is averaging 8.2 yards per pass, but they've done it against teams that allow 8.3. They've played an extremely weak schedule this season. In fact, Pittsburgh's opponents um, have been out gained 5.6 to 6.7 yards per play. SMU's schedule has been a little bit below average as well, 5.4 to 5.7. But this is a big step up in class uh, for the Pitt Panthers, and I do think they will be exposed after their somewhat phony 7-0 straight-up start. I look for SMU to go to 8-1, Pitt to fall to 7-1. If you can get 7 or less by kickoff Saturday night, I would lean SMU here in this other top 25 matchup. All right, those are your only two true top 25 matchups this week. No SEC games made the cut in the top 25, and they're not playing all the FCS teams this week. Just kind of weird how that played out. We just have a lot of um, haves against have-nots in the conference, um, but there'll be plenty more top 25 action coming in in future weeks. I'm going to give you a couple games that were just a bit outside for making the cut. Additional vote games in which if the underdog pulls the upset, they will be ranked next week. Some top 30 bonus content for you here. Two more games with my predictions and ratings in just a moment. Quick reminder, though, if you're finding these free play videos useful, whether it's the solo videos throughout the week or this big college football top 25 video or NFL fade the public video for the weekend, do me a couple favors. First of all, comment below. I read the comments. I reply back. I love the support. If you're liking the free play videos, let me know. I will keep them coming. I will increase them. And thumbs up, like the videos as well. That also helps a great deal keeping the content free here on Wager Talk TV. Remember, when you click subscribe, to click that bell also so you get an instant alert when all these solo videos go up each and every week here on the channel. And if you want my official best bets for this weekend, both college football Saturday, NFL Sunday, NBA each and every day, then check out my page, stevemerrillwagertalk.com. And while you're there, two very special offers this week. Now, I know many of you have football already for the rest of the season. Thank you for being on board. It's been a great season overall. If you'd like to get my incredibly strong NBA, which is ranked number one all time in units one at Wager Talk, including up over 200 units the last three years alone in just the NBA, this weekend's a great time to get on board a 30 day sampler for just $149. That works out to less than $5 a day for every NBA best bet for the next 30 days and nights for just $149, a 30 day NBA, NBA sampler. No promo code needed. It's on my page. Or if you want to upgrade or get the All Sports All Access, of course, get the NBA. College Hoop starts next week. Also, college and pro football the rest of the season. Baseball, when it returns, we are just incredible this year in baseball. Um, up almost 100 units of profit in baseball alone. Then the All Sports All Access is the way to go. Don't try to predict which sport is going to be hot or cold at a given time. Basically, all the sports have been hot this entire calendar year. Up over 170 units at the end of October with two more months to go. But the All Sports All Access works for another reason. It gets the cost of investment down to about a dollar per play because I have an instant $811 discount for you right now when you use promo code SM365. That gets you the one-year All Access at checkout. Use promo code SM365. It's an instant $811 discount. The reason such a specific number is because that gets it down to exactly $99 a month, just over $3 a day, just over a dollar per play for every football, basketball, baseball, college and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. Hey, look, if you've missed out on this monster 2024, it's not too late to get on board. Two more months going this year, and then you're going to get basically all of 2025. One year all access with the instant discount of over $800 with promo code SM365. Hey, look, you don't have to memorize the promo codes or the special offers. Go to my page right now. They're all listed with the details. Also, you'll see a daily free play. Check out that free Saturday college football, free Sunday NFL play. Their last cuts, games are just a bit outside. I treat them as like a 1% opinion, but if you want the strong 4% best bets, go to my page right now and get them and get some promo codes as well. You can also click on the previous 20 best bets. You can follow every day. Every game I have every night is released after they start. You can also click on them to read the analysis afterwards. That's all available for free at wagertalk.com and on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash SM. Let's take a look at those two bonus games here on the way out. You know, once again, just two games were true top 25 matchups. I got a couple bonus games here. They were just a bit outside from making the cut. In fact, if either of these underdogs pull an upset, they will be top 25 ranked teams next week. And we'll start off with the um, early game at noon Eastern on ESPN. We have number 19 Ole Miss traveling to unranked Arkansas, 
who is getting some additional votes here. They're like 30, 31st overall in the additional votes. And if they can pull this upset, they will be right next week. And I think they have a very good chance of actually pulling the upset here as a seven and a half point dog. Uh, first of all, my simulation makes it only five and a half. So I do think there's some line value with Arkansas in this game. And I like the matchup as well. In fact, the look ahead line last week before Arkansas play was going to be nine and a half, a bettable line. Arkansas then smacks Mississippi State on the road, 58 to 25. And they put up a ton of offense, over 660 total yards of offense. And what happens now, they're only a seven and a half point dog, but there's still plenty of value above that key number of seven. I predict Ole Miss by only, I project by only five, five and a half points here. And I like the matchup as well. Ole Miss is a scary team to go against. They're explosive offensively. There's no question about that. Averaging 10 and a half yards per pass attempt. And Arkansas's pass defense has been pretty mediocre this year, but Arkansas can trade points in this game. Averaging eight and a half yards per pass, over five yards per carry, rushing the ball. Yes, Ole Miss has had a strong defense, but this is a huge step up in class against a very good Arkansas offense. In fact, to put it in perspective, Ole Miss has faced opponents this year that have averaged just five yards per play. Arkansas is averaging just under seven yards per play. In fact, uh, Ole Miss's opponents have been outgained 5.0 to 6.4 on average this year and outscored by 10.5 points a game. Uh, this is a huge step up in class. Ole Miss has some impressive numbers, but they face some weak opponents. I think Arkansas definitely could pull the upset here, and they are live as a 7.5 point dog at noon Eastern on ESPN. And the other game, too, which kind of just cracked the top 30 based on additional votes, is also on ESPN at 7.30 Eastern, and that's unranked Louisville against number 11 Clemson. Uh, my simulation favors Clemson by about 14 points in this game, and the current line is only 10 and a half. However, Louisville does have some backdoor cover potential in this game with a strong passing attack uh, that's averaging 8.5 yards per pass attempt, 36.5 points per game, 7 yards per play. So while the line's a little light based on my simulation, once again at 10.5, I project a 14-point win. Uh, Louisville does have some backdoor cover potential here, so I'd prefer to look at the total instead. I think over 61.5 makes some sense in this game. Uh, not only is Louisville averaging 36.5 points a game, but I'm not sold on this Clemson defense. Uh, they're facing opponents. Uh, their opponents have averaged only 24 and a half, and they've allowed 23 in those games. They've given up 5.4 yards per play against teams that average just 5.5. Louisville's averaging 7.1. Um, I do think Clemson can move the ball as well. They'll have 42 points a game, seven yards per play. The offense has been fantastic ever since they lost that opener against Georgia, uh, scoring just three points. Uh, they have scored 40 or more in five of their other six games since. I think over 61 and a half is the best way to play it. Don't worry about the side. Let's look at the total. Clemson Louisville over 61 and a half would be my recommendation. And that other game on ESPN at 7:30 Eastern it was just a bit outside for making the cut. But yeah, once again, if Arkansas or Louisville can pull the upset, they will be ranked next week in the top 25. Comment below. Let me know. Do you think either one of them can pull the upset? What games do you like this week in college football? I do truly read the comments. I reply back. Thumbs up, like the free play video, and don't forget, once again, subscribe and click that bell for instant alerts, you know, when this video goes live every week, along with my NFL Fade, the public video for this Sunday. And don't forget, if you want my personal best bets, including those all sports specials, the NBA special, whatever you want, it's quite simple. If I have a play, my clients get it. I have one set of selections, my personal plays. Every client gets the same play, whether it's a one day, a one month, a one year, one sport, all sports, you get the same best bets I'm personally using, same games I've won with consistently for the past 29 years as a full-time professional handicapper. Check out my best bets along with that daily free play right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Remember to follow me on social media at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.